Well, I was at my friend, I was going to my friend Steve's house. We were supposed to be heading to a recording session on West 44th Street. Um, There's like RCA Studios, I believe. And uh, it was like for an, a, a, an EP album we were doing. And um, so we started, I, I, I was a little bit late coming for, I was coming from Long Island. And he lived on uh, East 5th Street, right near the police station. And uh, so I went by his house. Apparently he had already left because nobody was there. So I'm like, well, now I need to get a cab up to uh, West 44th Street. Um, so East 5th was, that goes west. That it's a westbound street. So didn't really help me. There's no cabs coming. So I figured, let me walk over to 1st Avenue and, uh, and try to get a cab. And um, so I'm walking up, I make a, a left up 1st Avenue and Walking up, no cabs, no cabs, no cabs. It starts to rain. Now this is August in 1968, and uh, I had pretty much just come back from Vietnam in in in, in, in June, and um, so yeah. So um, all of a sudden it starts to rain. Now, I'm not, not like I'm not used to the rain, but I'm kind of dressed nice for this recording thing, and we're going to take pictures and stuff like that. And so what? Uh, yeah, so now I'm at about 13th Street and 1st Avenue, and I mean, literally, the sky's opened up, and I see an open doorway, two, two houses in on 13th Street, two houses west in on, on 13th Street. So I run for it, I see the open door, I go in, and I'm standing in the hallway, it's pouring down rain, and I said, I'm, I'm looking down the hallway, and I can see that it goes really far. So I thought it went like to 14th Street, and I'd have a really good shot at catching uh, a cab on 14th Street, because I was, like I said, I was running late. So I start walking down the hallway and it kind of like goes left, right, and there was a stairway. Anyway, so I get to where the stairway is and this guy just leaps out with a knife and like sticks it at my throat and it catches into my chain and he's like wrestling with it and it's like, this is the knife like this and I'm like, yeah, fuck. And, and like he pulls it away finally and then he just stabs me in the stomach and I'm like, ah, you know, and I'm fighting him off, like, you know, trying to, but I didn't want to get cut, and I already got cut, and then I look down, and it's like my belly fat's hanging out, and there's blood all pouring on my leg and stuff like that, and it's like, you know, now I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, you know what I mean, now what do I do, you know, and he wants, like, money, and I got a lot of money in my pocket because we've got to pay for this recording session, so I'm, like, dying, I'm dying over here, so I reach in my pocket and, and, and you know, pull out just one bill, because I just had the, the bills folded up, and because it was a lot of money. And I couldn't put a clip around it or anything. I probably could have used the rubber band, but I'm glad I didn't because what I was able to do was peel the top bill off. It was a $20 bill. I gave him that and I said, that's all that I got because I wasn't about to give up four grand. So, um, not without a fight anyway. So anyway, so he, uh, he grabs that and he takes off. But now I'm, I'm pretty wounded and I'm starting to get a little like, you know, bleh. and as it happened, the building did not go through all the way to 14th Street. So I had a, like basically follow him out the front door, go to back onto 13th Street, go around the corner, up First Avenue. Now I'm starting to get a little dizzy and woozy, so I'm leaning up against, I get to a car, oh, before I even get to the car. There's a drugstore there, there was a drugstore there. So I go in and I'm bleeding, you know, so I'm in a drugstore. I want like cotton, something, you know, help me out here. The guy fucking pulls a gun on me, he says, get out of my store. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, you're a drugstore. I don't like, you know, fuck. So I go out, you know, what am I gonna be shot to? Yeah. By the druggist? So like, so I go out onto 14th Street and there's this brown Pontiac sitting there. And like, you know, real like early, late 60s, early 70s color. And by now it had stopped raining. So the, the car's all wet though. So I'm, I'm feeling like really like, passing out kind of so I'm wiping the rain from the windshield onto my face to try to anything to like try to stay you know like cognizant anyway while that, while that's going on I'm leaning against this car and and you know and the two guys who apparently were cops I didn't know it they uh, they came out they threw me into the back of the car and I'm like dude like I'll bleed all over the car and I said don't worry about it just get in the car and they took me to to um, I guess Beth Israel, no, uh, IE Nose and Throat Hospital they took me to, and uh, yeah, it saved my life pretty much.